हाई गाइज वेलकम टू सी ए फाइनल एस सी एम पी ई और ए सी पी एम सेल्फ पेज पेपर वी आर कवरिंग एवरी पॉसिबल एम सी क्यू फ्रॉम योर मॉड्यूल वंस मॉड्यूल्स आर डन देन वी आर गुड बी कवरिंग एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम द बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडीज पोर्टल ऑल्सो एंड इन एनी केस आर कंप्लीट कोर्स इज देयर फॉर यू ऑल टू बी एनरोलिंग यू कैन रीड द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो टू एनरोल फॉर द कोर्स ऑल्सो रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू बी ज्वाइनिंग आर टेलीग्राम चैनल एंड टेलीग्राम ग्रुप फॉर वट एवर आई ट्राई टू बी डूइंग इन एस सी एम पी आई यूजली पोस्ट ओवर देर and uh, also a request that the moment you start your ca final please clear off your self paste papers as soon as possible that will relieve you of great amount of tensions because then eight subjects directly get reduced to six subjects right in the beginning so you can concentrate on those six subjects far more we are doing a chapter called as management of cost strategically for emerging business models you know businesses have changed a lot we all hear the term startups these terms were not there around in 1990s up and so on at that time like you know it was all a traditional business you invest lot of money you start up with the business and then you started you will start to get the customers up and so on and you build your business over a long period of time but these days the businesses have become more lean they don't require that much amount of investment you can try to be going for something called as lean startups the organizations have become agile agile means flexible they are more responsive towards the customers needs now they constantly keep keep on changing their product their services up and so on this chapter focuses on such business only to be very honest scmpe is one subject if you all love it if you all love to do business then you should actually like you know try to read this subject even for time pass also okay that helps you a lot in real life so let's do the things disruptive innovations can be classified into following categories disruptive innovations can be classified into following categories okay which one low end disruption and new product disruption okay low end disruption and low market disruption okay high end disruption and new product disruption and lastly high end disruption and new market disruption in case you all know the answer this is the time to be commenting now uh this is whatever your module says that like you know disruptions are of two types you have low end disruptions low end disruptions happen when a company uses a low cost business model to enter at the bottom of the existing market there is a existing market and you try to be thinking i will enter this market with my product which will have the least selling price as the entrant claims the lowest market segment a lower profit making segment for the incumbents the other existing companies typically retreat up market what does this thing mean it means that suppose there is a market for certain amount of products to give you a small example say that phones tomorrow you start to launch a phone say at 5000 rupees and you start to be making good amount of profits then companies who were your competitors at that particular time okay they will start to go into the other segments whereby like you know prices are higher so if you are successful in this market they will start to try to capture the more premium markets okay which means a further upstream where profit margins are higher they will start to move towards that because you have started to capture this amount of market therefore it creates a situation where other players in the industry are actually motivated to flee rather than fight you so it's a situation whereby the established players start to be thinking yeah this new competitor has come so therefore let's do one thing let's leave like you know this lower end market and let's start to capture like you know more premium market one of the best examples that ica gave over here this is a extract from your modules only it they gave an extract like you know that uh, flipkart and amazon in beginning their models were very simple they were selling books i guess you all will be knowing that like uh, amazon was one of the first websites in the world to be selling the books what was their advantage they could sell the books at a very cheap rate and therefore they try to enter into the lowest market segment that is called as low end disruption there is another kind of disruption also that is new market disruption what does module say what is new market disruption new market disruption occurs when a new entrant expands the market by targeting customers who have never ever used a similar product before the disruptive company creates a new market by making its products more accessible or less expensive let's try to see one example okay and i say has given a beautiful example computers were there i remember in 1988 when my father got me the first computer it had 4 mb of hard disk okay 4 mb yeah not 4 gb 4 mb of hard disk not ram also 
Okay, now at that time computers were super expensive. People could not be accessing that. But then there was a new market that came up, basically of the computers that were portable, that were cheaper. We call them as laptops today. And that disrupted entire market. People went on purchasing such things. This is new market disruption. So there are two types of disruptions that are there. Do remember new market disruption creates a new market. Low end disruption does not create a new market. No, it encourages established players to move to the higher markets. Okay. And the other kind of disruption is new market disruption, which creates a new market altogether. Something that was not there before or something that was not accessible to the normal customers. Okay. So out of all the answers, answer should be B over here. That should be the correct one. Yeah, that is the correct answer. I'll see you next time with another MCQ of such type. Uh, till then, happy learning. Bye. Take care.